Hey guys, welcome back to, I guess I'm going to call this one episode one. Did I call the first one episode one or episode zero? All right, this is episode two. Got it. Uh, oop, I'm leaking my future videos. <laughs> uh, but not a big deal. So, we left off on the last video just scratching our heads. Why couldn't we edit the ISO? Why wouldn't the ISO boot in a emulator in an emulator or on console i even tried the uh iso on my switch on ppsspp i'm not gonna say that i'm just gonna say ps2 or psp emulator um we couldn't get it to work and i want to give a shout out to a member of my discord um tog lk t-o-g-l-k oh here Okay, whatever. Um, anyway, came onto my Discord, left some really kind words about the last video, um, and reminded me of some old tools uh, from way back in the day when I used to mod other games that he mentioned the tool and I recognized it right away. It's called Dragon Unpacker. He was wondering if that tool could be used to open up the PSP PCK pack files rather than using uh, QuickBMS because QuickBMS didn't support the files. That tool is used for games like Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, uh, and since, you know, MC3 is developed by Rockstar just like GTA, maybe the tool would be worth checking out. So I wanted to try it live uh, to see if Dragon Unpacker would indeed extract one of those uh, PSP files. So I don't... I thought I had the Jetta file out here. I guess I don't. We'll just go find it in EX, uh, an extract. So we're going to go vehicle. Always going to mess with... Oh, uh, wait. It's not in here. Where was it? Vehicle? Oh, my God. I'm losing my mind. There we go. All right. Let's find the Jetta. Oh, this is just this stuff. Oh my god, you would think I would have learned from my last video where the stuff was, but I went through so much in the last video. I don't remember hardly anything. Uh, model. Not in here. Oh my god. Where were those files? Oh, aren't they just down here? Yeah, they are. Oh my god. Well, so the DAT does not work. Where's that P PSP PCK? Hold on. All right, I found it. No driver could load this file. Damn it. So we still can't open those files. We got to find something else. But I do have good news for this video. The modding can commence. I did find an answer. My favorite thing to do when it comes to modding, and this is one of the things that, this is one of the reasons why I make my videos in the style that I do, is I like to explain every step of the way, every bit of the process, because some people who don't have years of doing this want to know, okay, how does your brain work? Why is it getting it to that point? How are you thinking of these things? It's kind of like when a math teacher says, show your work. I don't want to just show you guys the finished outcome and you have to sit there scratching your head like, how the hell did he do that? I want to show you each step in order of how I do things. So what did I do? I went to Google because I couldn't figure out how to modify the ISO. What the what Power ISO and Ultra ISO was doing was compressing the ISO into a format that the PSP cannot open. So they would not work on emulator, console, or probably even original console. I'll have to find my PSP once we actually get this going. So what did I do? I went to Google. And I typed in mod PSP ISO. No joke. This is how my brain works. You, it, it, The amount of things that I do in my YouTube videos that start like this before I make my video is astounding. Y'all would blow your brains out. Um, ooh. Sorry if that's a uh, bad reference for um, anybody that's, you know, know somebody that's done that. And I started just clicking around. Uh, GBA Temp is a website that I recognized a lot for game modding in one way or another. 
and I wanted to go in and just, I clicked every single link. A lot of modding, especially unknown files and unknown things or things that just haven't really been done, click everything. Read as much as you can. You can't just sit down and expect it to just work. You gotta research. You gotta see if anybody else has done something similar when it comes to a similar game or a sim similar console or similar file type. Which is how I found Quick BMS. That's how I found Power ISO. That's how I discovered Dreamcast Game Burning. That's how I discovered Free McBoot for PS2. Reading. Research. So much of modding is just research and understanding and experience and just being willing to open something up in a hex editor or just try it. The worst that can happen is it doesn't work. Then you try something else. And I eventually got to this Reddit post for Vita privacy or piracy. Do not condone piracy. I have to say that in my videos or else I'm going to get sued. I scrolled down because this guy wanted to edit a PSP ISO. Scroll down, scroll down. This may help a very small comment on a thread from two years ago that most people would probably overlook because it only has two upvotes and it's barely any words. It doesn't explain what the link is. Always, this is going to be terrible advice. Always click the damn link in situations like this. <laughs> Took me over to ROM hacking, which was a website that I recognized because the ROM hacking. And I discovered UMD Gen. What are PSP ISOs called, or what are the little cartridges that go into a PSP called? UMDs. UMD Gen. A Windows utility that allows you to edit PSP ISO images. You can re use it to replace, delete, add, and apply PPF patch files. News articles for this utility and download now. Like I said, just dig around. <laughs> so, none of these links. I didn't click any more of this stuff. I don't know what any of this is. I mean, I'm still going to read through it just out of UMD Gen. Look, there it is again. If I would have gone, you know, one more thingy, it would have explained it all right here. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of explanation here of, like, using the memory viewer and all that. There's a thread linked right here to ROM Hacking's forum, which has years upon years upon years of stuff. I'm working on a PSP game at a moment, and I found that you'll usually need programs like the following, although they might not be needed for all PSP games. This is a useful list. UMD Gen, CRI Packer, a PMF video converter, Sony's UMD SDK tools. That's really good to know was leaked. Um... A good text editor, Notepad++, Quick BMS, and a hex editor. This is an amazing list of things that I'm going to need. And you know what the hell I'm going to do is I'm going to open Notepad. I'm going to save that. Because these are probably, they're probably right. That's files I'm going to need. Tools. That's stuff I'm going to need. More than likely. And then there's a link to Armored Core. I'm having... Trouble with the second and third steps of the wallalo -la 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 -la. Uh Where do I input this? PRX files. Now, PRX files don't apply to me yet, but it looks like there's some hex editing in here of bin files and stuff like that, so this thread could still be useful. You never know. Or I can even just go to ROM hacking discussion and just see what the heck they're talking about. You know, there's so much stuff in here, especially this website that's been around since. These threads only go back to 2011, but I'm sure this is a rework of the website at some point around there. Or maybe this was just a new section or something like that. You never know. You know, what? here's how to mod PSP games, you know, read through it. All right, enough of that. Let's try to modify the ISO. Oh, wait, I already did to save time. Test.cso. What is a CSO file? It is a compressed ISO for PSP. I simply created it using UMD Gen. Not even joking. 
it makes noise when it starts. It's a little strange. All you have to do is open. Open. There it is. And then you can even see layout of like how it's laid out. Here's the tree for everything. You can see UMD properties for like game, the values. So when it comes to me modding the game, I'll be able to probably modify some of this stuff and actually put like, can I edit the title? Copyright holder, can I put this in? Oh, I probably can. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff I'll be able to do because of this. And I'll be able to like put my signature on it. Publisher Rockstar, you know, mod by TechX. Can't edit this, but that's okay. Uh, sector view, this is for the actual UMD. If you opened up the UMD in a hex editor, batch image conversion. Because I could convert images, I guess. Oh, this is for uh, ISOs. Okay, never mind. Dummy search, no dummy files found. Apply PPF. If somebody ever made PPF patches for Midnight Club 3, let's find out. <laughs> hey, look at that. Ya boy is first. Oh, well, would you look at that? An entire thread on Zentax. Now, okay. This is a thread I'm going to have to... Re what? Hold on. Hold on. What is this? Like I said, just read. So, AR extract... Uh, my apologies for the, the reason on iripper.dat. It turned out iripper doesn't really work. It completely corrupts the data, therefore the script cannot read the TEX files and they are corrupt. You must extract the files using AR extract. Here is the link. This is for the TEX files. 3D printing cars from games, but I can't open the PCK and mesh files. Anyone help? Kind of a mess to set up and extract, but I can do that for you if you'd like. I've already extracted the buses? That is so cool. Is this link still valid? This might be everything extracted from the game already. Oh my god, it's the models. Okay. Oh my god. See, this is what I mean. Just freaking research. You don't know if somebody's done something before you. Extracted model cars. We're just going to save this uh, in here. How to extract and convert. You need to extract the assets.dat. Not sure, but I think the vinyl's going to be extracted with them similar methods. Watch it without sound. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what this is. Literally an unlisted video from two years ago of somebody sharing the tools they used. MC3 tools. Look at that. Free download. Give me that file. And then he also has some file research. Here's some... Here's a GitHub link. Mesh to OBJ. So they made uh, a mesh... Extractor. Mesh to OBJ. I wonder if there's a way to do it backwards and they could we could do custom cars. I bet you if we reverse this, we can. Granted, I don't know enough to do that, but... CK. So this should work for extracting the models. That's cool. Then we can watch this dude's video. Yeah, here's his ISO. That's the PS2 version. The PS2 files are different. That DAT. I remember digging through the PS2 version. I wonder if we can convert stuff from the PS2 version. Oh my god, it's... Uh, well, it's, he's using the same method for extracting. This is extracting the asset file. It looks like a BMS extractor. Uh, yeah, these file types are different. Although the text files are still here, which is cool. Oh my god. It was that simple. Text export. How do you do it? You just 
pastes in the text export and runs it and it does everything in the folder and converts it to JPG TGA sick so that's all the textures for the game and then he does 3d models which are just dot mesh uses the same text export that gives him the textures for the cars yeah wow insane we're going to be able to custom modify the cars as long as you can get them back to text format so that's really this is what i mean you just have to freaking read somebody's going to have done something before you on stuff that's this old texture finder another tool i did see this tool pretty cool and he explained how it works this is page three of this thread that means we definitely have more stuff to read through. Mesh extraction coming along nicely. Yo, road pieces? That's sick. What's this? San Diego files. So they converted the 3D models. That's cool. They're literally going through a hex editor. I, yeah, makes sense. Model Researcher 2.7. So that's another tool we have to download and look into. MC3 Extraction Tools. Yeah, it's the same guy. So that's that file. And then he got the bumper pulled out. This means... So you guys know about Auto Legends coming up. Some of you that watch my videos. I wonder if I can extract the body kit pieces from these really old games and make them work in Auto Legends. They have said publicly that we are going to be able to do custom 3D model body kits. I got a sneeze. I promise I won't ever be that YouTuber that purposely sneezes or burps or farts into the microphone. Anyway, um, I already knew about these. I wonder what Discord this is on because I would definitely love to join it and help out with this cause and show the things that I've found so far. What the heck is this? Oh, it's explaining text. That's cool. Yeah, so let's find out what happens if I modify the Jetta. So what we're going to do is copy and paste this. We're going to edit with Notepad++. Oh, wrong screen. Uh, Jetta. And we're going to make the stock base. Um, we're going to make it like a VR6, quote unquote. So let's do two, let's do three, six, three. And then upgrade it as four, eight, five. We're going to save that. The Jetta is now upgraded, and what we can do is use UMD Gen, Exporter, Game, User, DIR. You can see the file is right here. What we can do is go into Quick BMS. We can do Reimport. We select the BMS.dave, or Dave.BMS. We select the Asset. And then we select the file I modified, which is this one, and it puts it back. And then you can close the window. Next, what we do is we open up UMD Gen, which is right here. I want to delete this to make sure it's getting overwritten. Just because it's habit. You don't have to necessarily do it that way. And then you can go save as, and you can do it as a compressed ISO. So we're going to overwrite test.cso. Continue, and it's going to export the compressed ISO. It's going to make the new CSO with the modified Midnight Club 3 uh, vehicle list with the modified specs for the Jetta. So I'll be right back when this is done, and I'll show you opening up a modified CSO in PPSSPP. So now we're going to open up the modded game. Obviously, I don't know which one of these it is, so I'm going to load it this way. 
It's test.cso. You can see it's almost 500 megabytes smaller. Open. It starts. Good start. Yeah, we know that's messing. I don't know. It's weird that that's supposed to be there, but I can always put it back, I guess. Uh, is my controller going to work by default? Oh, it does. Sick. Using an Xbox controller to play PSP games just feels weird. Ooh, a little fast. Create a save profile. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Data, save complete. And I think I can just do it by arcade. We need the Jetta. I'm not going to see the specs of the Jetta this way. That's the problem. So I do have to start a career. Purchase a vehicle. Not find specified files. So there's a bunch of things it's having issues with. But I wonder if I can actually fix these issues. All right, it's going through the loading screen. So here's the Jetta. The game is running a little too fast. Hold on. I'm bothered. You know what I realized we should do is look at these numbers, then modify it, and then come back. So I'm going to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to screenshot the game because I want to know if these numbers change. What an ugly brown, by the way. Uh, anyway, let's mod the file real quick. So we know that's the stock files. What we're going to do is go into vehicle list. I'm going to make it a little faster because I can. Do four, seven, four. And then we'll do five, nine, six, six, six. Devil's Jetta. Now we're going to quick BMS it again real quick. Mm -hmm. Asset. We're gonna. Re I'm really gonna hope this works. Close that. We can delete this out of here. We can put the new one in. And I'll pause this while it makes the file. Should have also driven it. Oh well. All right. We back in. Probably have to make that game save again. Not like I actually saved the game anywhere. Get the mouse off screen. That bothers the shit out of me. Oh, cool. It saved it. Uh, career. Didn't ever actually buy my car. Skip all this stuff. We'll see if the specs changed. I still have the screenshot. Uh, let's go. 13.6, 28.4, 27.6. So they are the same still. But we're going to buy the car. And we're going to test drive it. And we're going to see if it feels faster, at least on the street. I've definitely played this game enough to know how slow this vehicle is. Holy cr Okay. There is an issue with those guys. Why were they so fast? Oh! I hit R2. R2 is a game speed up. I don't think the car should be this fast. How do I change vehicle view? Okay, whatever. I'm definitely going to do a music mod. Yeah, I don't think the vehicle changed at all. I wonder if that's just a file for the devs to reference. <laughs> I love that I can just speed up the game with R2. It's a good thing I like this game in third person. That was a little laggy. Interesting. Hey, I still came in first. Continue. 
Well. We do know we can find other things to mod. So that's not a big deal. Go to garage. Wow, this is so smooth. Even PS2 emulation wasn't this smooth for this game. It's my vehicle. What can I do? Oh my god, it takes it all the way up. Okay, so... Some of the stuff I did might have done something. I wonder if I can... Cheat engine an emulator. Can I cheat engine an emulator? 1350. I want unlimited money. 600. Ah, god damn it. There's definitely a way to get unlimited money. I just don't know what it is. Enable cheats? I don't know what the cheats are, but okay. Anyway, um. It did seem to raise it a lot. 350, we'll do that. And we'll find out if... Because this looks like it changed a lot. Let's see. I should put it nitrous on the car. I wonder if I can change RPM range and all that. Wherever that info is, is probably the info I actually have to change. It definitely... Yeah, it doesn't feel any faster. That's unfortunate. Anyway. At least we know we can edit the ISO now. Which means we can start digging through files and see what changes what. So I hope you guys are excited for this series. Um, I'm definitely going to start messing with stuff. And I'll see you in episode three.